Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 77 of our RimWorld Alpha 16 Zippy's Folly Let's Play. When we last left off, it was the second of summer, and the ponds of Zippy's Folly had just fought off some uh, sappers. Some exciting sappers up there in the northern uh, part of the map. Set up a few more defenses to maybe better be prepared for them next time. And uh, done some other things to basically just prepare themselves for the beautiful weather that we're going to enjoy for the next couple of weeks. It's not going to last that long, but we'll enjoy it while we can. Set up a few uh, telescopes now that we've got um, larger outdoor areas secured. Don't have to worry about raiders coming and destroying our joy items. That'll give us a little more joy variety. Uh, kind of puts everybody in a crappy area. Uh, you know what I mean? Like they're out there doing joy in a crappy area, but uh, still, get to enjoy the variety. Uh, you'll never guess what I forgot to do between episodes. Well, I'm going to tell you before you even try to guess, and that is uh, set up all the surgery. So, boy, you know, something else... Uh, probably would be well for me to do would be to uh, stop uh, stop having these chickens um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, just uh, uh, how about I turn on the overlay there we are and I go to storage and I just turn you to to nothing clear all and then I allow now um, this is uh, important, and this one is normal, so we'll just make this one normal as well. So I guess I probably would want to copy, there we go, paste, and uh, we will allow... Now what is this? Animal products? Ah, oh, beautiful. We're going to allow fertilized eggs in there as well. And uh, I don't know, do people get grossed out for, for meat and fertilized eggs? Um, the, this is the one that has animal products, isn't it? Uh, so let's add eggs in there. Yeah, and that's for the vegetarian simple meals. Great. All right, we're in good shape. But that should, uh, hopefully that will stop even these ones if we get them hauled in there in time. I think that's Nick is coming to get them. Very good, Nick. And you know, Nathan, we can use... Uh, let's go ahead and throw eggs in there. <laughs> I really don't mind. And uh, the night just came along. I was like, why did all my lights go out all of a sudden? Said, well, it's because it's the natural cycle of things. It's called nighttime. As the sun rotates around the earth. And, <laughs> and his friend the moon, with his smiling face, jumps up from across the other horizon. And the dragons out in the ocean snarl as they come to the edge of the planet sorry <laughs> didn't didn't quite go uh, didn't quite go where I thought it might end up going and uh, that was uh, somewhere interesting is where I thought it might end up going and sorry I didn't go there still maxed out on power with no problem have our uh, growing things over here uh, zoning out they've got a little while to go until I just need that little area along there. But it's going to take at least four more days and probably more like eight or ten days, really. How are we looking up here? Well, we're getting closer. This one down here keeps getting... Look at those gaps filling in. We're almost there. And uh, over here, too. Looking good. I don't know what we're going to do with all this space, but, you know, at least it won't be swamp. I could really use some uh, haulers. Hey, neighbors, why don't you send some people just wandering around? You know, I think I... Uh, I 
I think I actually am going to go ahead and uh, call a trader uh, from these towns. I'll just do them one at a time. And uh, if they set up shop out here, I might just kill them all. Um, but yeah, you can't... Uh, wow, Colony Goodwill 62. These guys are going to be difficult to, uh, to uh, turn into enemies. Um, but I will call... I guess they're bulk goods trader. Slavers wouldn't be carrying any slaves. I don't know. Why not? Just call them. I'm not going to want anything from any of them anyways. I'm just going to try to kill them. Turn the... Turn the... Uh, turn those guys on uh, into enemies. I could go raid their their uh, colony. But I don't... I, I mean, I, I pretty much have to take everybody with me to uh, raid the colony. I don't know if that's a good idea or not to leave my place undefended. I guess if I left it undefended and just turned on my turrets, probably probably would be pretty safe. Although if somebody came along, they could break down my walls and do some pretty good damage. If they just broke down my walls and came in from behind here, started going after all the uh, solar power in here or something. Oh, look, a natural deposit of Plasteel. That's unusual. Uh, hair self tamed, woohoo. And uh, heat wave, well, don't really run into too many heat waves. Um, is it going to stay cool enough in here with this heat wave going on? I hope it does. Looks like it. Sort of. No, it's creeping up on us. Well, I guess we can put in another... Oh. Not enough steel. What the what? How did... I... Uh... Wow. Well, luckily, uh, we've got some steel just waiting right there. And um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cancel out. Cancel out this mining for now. I wouldn't be very happy if a infestation happened down here. I think that's why I didn't want to mine this area out in the first place. Seems seems likely. I don't have anybody restricted, do I? Okay. Look at all those beautiful clothes that we've got set up there, just waiting, just waiting to be worn. I wonder if it's the middle of summer. Let's try boosting up their quality. Can we go normal or better? I'll try it on both of them. Let's see how many of our pawns end up being naked or semi-naked. Doesn't seem like too many of them. Well, that's good. Although, I guess they would probably naturally gravitate towards the higher quality clothing, right? I really should have a, uh, a moisture evaporator, like right here. Although, I, well, I guess I have plenty of steel all of a sudden. What was I trying to build that uh, I didn't have any steel for? Let's write another AC. Because I've got... 70 degrees in here. Holy. Wow. Well, I better get that. Uh, better get that AC built. I'm going to throw in a uh, couple of passive coolers, too. That's outrageous. You should not be held open like that. Okay, that's good. Um, wow. 117 degrees. Well, these don't even have ACs. So we're going to build some passive coolers in these areas as well. One, two, three. And uh, how about in here? Luckily, we have plenty of wood, I assume. Yep, we do. Uh, don't need to worry about that. We aren't really using the hospital at this point. That stuff is fine. I'll throw a couple of coolers in here for you. Um, plants like they probably don't like the excessive heat but uh, 
Uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill them or anything. All right, and let's turn people into constructors. Uh, great. So as long as you aren't a, actually, we're gonna put everybody on level two, no matter what. All right, great. Wow. Yeah, that's not good for our, uh, like a lot of these muffalo are very close to spoiling as it is. 70 degrees. Well, those passive coolers will help. And then uh, once this AC gets online, get it down to 30. Still not really cooling it down too well, though. Jeez. Well, I hope we don't lose any of the muffalo. Or, uh, like, uh, that would suck if one of these animals that are kind of buried underneath the other animals was rotten and, and I didn't notice. Like, that muffalo doesn't look very fresh. <laughs> but it says it is. What am I going to do with all this meat? Oh, uh, well, I was going to say I could sell it to that bulk goods trader that I got coming. <laughs> all right. Well, we've got the temperature under control in there. Well, we've got the temperature under control in here. So we won't be getting that slept in the heat uh, debuff, which is kind of nasty. Uh, except over in, in this area where all these poor folks are sleeping in the heat. Let's throw a few of those in here, too. Heat waves tend to last a little longer than like solar flares and stuff. This is chem fuel, right? Yeah. Not coming along very quickly, but. There we go. I'll get the heat down in here. Make sleeping in there a little more pleasant. Look at all that artwork we've got just sitting over there. Not doing anybody any good. All right, let's see. Nick is a prostophobe, so we don't want to give him a bionic eye. You already have one. But that's all you have, right? So, well, I guess let's look and see who doesn't have anything. You don't, well, you're a prostophobe, so you don't want anything. Wanderer, you don't have anything. What good are you? Well, you're a good miner, so, and a reasonable constructor and doctor. So an arm, arm would probably, and you're a careful shooter. So an arm and, or an eye. And uh, that's Wanderer that we're looking at here. Wanderer, what do you do? You're a miner, mostly. All right. So, Wanderer, and what do I have, even? I have at least three eyes, and I have one arm, but no legs. All right, so Wanderer, I'm going to give you a bionic eye. And uh, let's check out the rest of these pawns. So Michael has uh, has nothing. Michael doesn't care. And Michael is a shooter. So we'll give Michael and I as Michael and I as well. There we go. And Ben. Ben also has nothing going on. Ben is a shooter. None of the other stuff really matters. He is lazy, so I'm not so thrilled about giving him a bionic. But we're going to give you an eye as well, Ben. Everybody gets a bionic eye. Wander. You know what? I guess it doesn't matter if Ben's sleeping in his own bed and gets the surgery there. It doesn't really affect the outcome. Um, so Velasco also doesn't have a bionic. We probably have another bionic eye somewhere. Bionic eye. Simple arm. Bionic eye. Cheese. Two more bionic eyes. Is that Velasco? All right, add Bill, Bionic Eye. 
and um, Nathan, you're a melee fighter. You know what, Velasco, why am I giving you a bionic eye? Is that going to help you with your growing? Or your... No. Forget it. Cancel. Put you back on that stupid medicine. Nathan, Nathan, what do you got going on? Ugh, you're even more incompetent. Sorry. Sorry, real life Velasco and real life Nathan. I, I think I said I was going to try not to shit all over your pawns. Um, you've already got a bionic leg, and you've got a bionic leg. Uh, so, Zippy, you're good. You've got an eye already, and you're not going to get one. So, Kevin, you're in luck. Bionic eye. And, um, Christian, you've already... I just gave you one, right? I guess I could give you a second one. Let's let uh, let all this surgery get caught up here. <laughs> the wanderer finishes doing surgery and then immediately lays down to get surgery himself. Lots of good uh, doctor practice. Not that we really need it. Pretty pointless to train your doctors um, if you have glitter world medicine. That's really the only thing that matters. Uh, so it looks like I still have two more eyes. And an arm. So. <laughs> Zippy. Well, you already have an eye and an arm, don't you? You've got two, you aren't gonna get any, you've got two. You've only got the one, Christian. Right, Bill, I'm gonna give you two by, what else do you do, Christian? No. You know who I really want to have the other bionic eye, like an artist would be good. Julian, you already have one though, don't you? Um, and who's my other artist? Erasmo? All right. We're gonna we're gonna go back on our promise to not give you a bionic eye and give it to you after all. And who's my best crafter, Ryan? We're gonna give you that bionic arm. Trained you to fancy medicine. There we go. So that is a lot of surgeries, like seven seven surgeries or something. Setting a record for sure. It's funny, it's, um, oh, look at that, a real life bulk goods trader. Well, let's see if we can get some, uh, get some of this meat sold. Who's our high end cook? Zippy? Wow. So you're a butcher, but you're also a butcher. You know what I mean? Get that eye installed. There we go. Now, come on down here. Nathan. Zippy, I want you to, to uh, butcher, please. And Nathan, I want you to do something else. Surgery or something, maybe. All right, yeah, let's get those animals chopped up so we can sell all that meat. Oh, although, um, shit. They're not going to buy it unless there's a trade beacon. And I don't have enough steel for a stupid trade beacon. Well, that's kind of too bad. Maybe we'll get the trade beacon built in time. Where I'm going to get the steel from. Pawns are really busy. He's running around. Being so productive. Then, no, oh, okay, I was going to say, we already just had that... Uh, Bulk goods trader show up. Now we're not running low, on, running low on components or anything, right? Okay, not at all. Hey, I have a bulk goods trader. I should buy some steel. <laughs> um, there we go. Seems ridiculous that I have to buy steel at this point, but I'll buy a little bit so I can build the build that thing and then sell the um, sell that all that meat that I just chopped up. So is it does it? allow me to sell any of my meat. No, it doesn't, because I don't have that thing built. So 
Let's buy some steel. I don't need to buy 1100, but I'll buy 300 and uh, that'll be enough to, to get me started. Um, don't need to sell any of those things. Don't want any Yorkies. Don't need to sell, no. Nor do I want any pigs. The pigs are great animals to have for hauling. Uh, pigs and boars are my ideal choices. Don't need to buy any of those things. Um, buy your components, of course. I should probably sell some of these random scraps of leather that I have. Don't really need. Very good. No um, good medicine, huh? That's a shame. I was hoping you would have some. I don't need to buy any blocks. Don't need that. I feel like I just sold all my clothing, so I'm not really concerned about looking through that too closely. Don't want to buy any of those. I could buy some gold, but I'm not going to actually have enough beds, right? Like uh, everybody has a plasteel royal bed now, except for that second prisoner. So I will buy 35. All right, there we go. That's good. Now let's get that trade beacon built so I can sell my uh, sell my uh, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Sell all that meat. Oh, flame. How are you not building that trade beacon? <laughs> I guess Velasco's building it now. But I, I don't want that. Uh, what was that? What was that noise? Was it just the psychic drone or something? It sounded like uh, somebody used a psychic lance on my uh, one of my pawns. Did we get that thing built? building. Yeah. There we go. Nice job, Blasco. Julian. Call that bulk goods trader. Let's sell off some of that meat. Alright. Muffalo meat. Rhinoceros meat. There we go. Accept. Let's unforbid some more of these guys. Hopefully we can get them chopped up in time. Oh yeah, there's the uh, caravan that I was gonna try to kill or capture. Let's see who they have here. He's, he's all right. What I really need is a cook. This guy's not very good. Brawler, I'm not thrilled about that. Although he is a pretty talented brawler and he's a grower too. Mm. Stingray. Yeah, you know, this, uh, do I get to see his health? Health looks fine. Oh, you just lost your wife. Well, I really don't want to capture you then. But I could still try to kill you guys. I guess the whole point was to, well, I guess the there's two points. One point is to capture somebody. Step fast, fast walker. Those are nice. I don't like that dislikes men, but that we can deal with that. All right, so we're going to capture Toad. Let's see where they end up here. They're going to end up down here, huh? All right. They're going to be like, why are you guys all drafted? And standing, uh, standing over there on the other side of the swamp. Is that where I want to stand? Or do I want to stand over on... Uh, hey, I'm trying to stop you. There you go. I saw that it was about to run out. I want to stand over here. I mean, they don't. Uh, looks like they're pretty much all carrying uh, carrying melee weapons, so they're not going to be much of a threat to me, really, no matter what I do. Um, so we may as well have everybody. Uh, well, I guess the the main thing is we just want to stand away from them. So like over there, that should be fine. So um, uh, I think I'm going to try to capture this guy first and then we'll end the episode um, after everybody's dead. I hope you have enjoyed watching uh, this episode. If you have, you should click the like button down below. Uh, that's a good way to tell me that you liked it. And um, uh, be sure to, I guess, like tell your friends that they should be watching and uh, 
uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and uh, I, uh, I really appreciate uh, everybody who watches uh, it's really fun making these and I'm glad that you guys uh, uh, come through with all the views and stuff that definitely encourages me it's nice to be not uh, like saying that I'm popular is probably stretching it but it's nice to uh, it's nice to know that people are entertained that's for sure um, so let's see uh, stingray no Stingray is the one that I didn't want to capture. Toad is the one that I'm going to capture, even though I'm not thrilled about it. So can I just send you over to arrest Toad? Is that how it works? Try to arrest Toad. And like nothing's going to happen until I get over there. And then they're going to turn bad. And uh, we should be able to kill them all. There we go. There we go. And let's kill that muffalo as well. All right, nice. All right, so there we go. Now we have uh, we have angered um, angered the those guys. So hopefully we can start getting raided again. Ah shit. Um, uh, no, don't tell me that I can't continue. Ah, oh. well, maybe we can. Uh, gosh dang it, that's so frustrating. Gather up these guys as well. Uh, Erasmo. <sighs> Ryan, maybe. Uh, the whole point was to arrest that guy. Uh, they've been trapped and they're digging out trying to escape. Well, of course they've been trapped. They're inside my walls. I just want to take you alive. Drop your sword. You too. Drop it. This is like the ultimate uh, b -b 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 bonus this is episode. Ah, and of course I killed him. Gosh dang it. And that's going to count as a prisoner as well, isn't it? Or is it? Observed corpse. Okay. Well, at least there's that. Uh, still, it's a. Uh, you know, we got we got the that those guys on our bad side. So at least we will. Uh, we will uh, 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 get future raids from them and everything. And then, of course, we got all the uh, quite a, quite a few goodies from uh, from this down here. I did forget to go and see if we could buy some slaves. I guess we might have been able to buy some slaves or a slave. Uh, that would have been hilarious if, it, if we could have bought Toad. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.